what goes up must come down. What came down right where I'm standing triggered an unexpected school project that's bringing joy to several residents of an assisted living facility in Indiana. Somebody once said, it had just been a crazy busy day. In time. Nothing unusual for an elementary school. But things will fall. But I was taking a minute at the end of the day. Right in place. So I was standing at my desk looking out that window and it just dropped right here in the parking lot. Of Star Elementary School in Hastings. Super cool because it flies super far. This. And I found a note attached to the balloon. It read, if found, please write a letter to the residents of Journey Senior Living. Quick Google search. Merrillville, Indiana. Well, I filled out the cards and we stapled them on there. On October 7th, the residents released them. It was cool to see them go up and they were excited to be able to watch them go further and further away. Hoping for a response. Have we heard anything? Have we gotten anything back? Two days later. We were shocked that it went 162 miles. The wind steered this one into the capable hands. We made pictures for the people. Of an entire student body. We wrote letters to them. It became a week-long school project. They didn't know it landed here, right in Star School. Word got back to the nursing home that not one. We will all open it together. But 250 letters have been mailed to them. I'm not going to lie, myself and our administrator both cried. I think it's a really neat thing that it fell here so that they could send that many letters to people who are missing their families and haven't been able to see them probably since March. It just proves. A star-shaped balloon and it landed at Star Elementary School. Things do fall. And have a great day. Right in place. Brent Ashcroft. It was meant to land here. 13 on your side.